<laughs> hey guys, can everyone hear me all right? Hello, can you hear me? Can everyone hear me though? I can see everyone saying hey, but that means everyone can hear me though. <clears throat> yes, cool, cool. Okay, so <clears throat> the router is dead, gone. And uh, yeah, I'm literally having to go off my uh, internet on my phone, my actual no, phone internet, which is uh, ridiculous, really. I'm quite annoyed that I've had to reset the router, go through it, done a speed test. I'm getting 0 0.1 download speed, which is incredible, considering normally it's about 20 megabytes download speed, uh, upload speed, sorry, upload speed. Um, so, yeah, quite ridiculous. But when we get the test server back up again, we'll carry on where we left off. We'll carry on with the stream. Apologies, going to be in two parts. But I literally had to just kill the stream and try everything I could to try and uh, get up and running again. And I've had to uh, install a test server back on my phone again, which I deleted just to get some space back. But, um, yeah, <clears throat> so it's been a long process. So apologies. But, uh, yeah, as I was talking about hoist before we got cut off, I just said the thing I like about hoist is it gives you a different option compared to tracks, compared to other bots. Uh, it's just a whole other option, which I'm uh, super pleased about. So, again, we'll go through some testing because some guys might have first saw the first part and they might just join in and see the second part. So uh, we'll go through a bit of testing again. And then I'm not going anywhere. We're not going anywhere till we finish the stream. I'm even trying now to get a bit of internet just to get the chat up, and I can't even load YouTube on the devices. It's that bad. It's that poor. I'm getting zero internet. So it's uh, quite incredible, really, because everything in my house is internet. So <laughs> no, no switch, no iPads, no TV. Crazy. Everything. So yes, I am back, and you'll see the quality is a lot better. It comes to something when your phone's internet is better than your internet provider. So, yeah, I'm not sure if it is the router that's broken. The router's been reset. Uh, I'm not too sure. But we are back, guys. Thank you to everyone that's tuned back in. Thanks for being so patient. But, uh, yeah, the game is really loud. Yeah, like I said, I have, a set, I have settings on my tablet. It's all set up. So, um, yeah. Can everyone hear me all right? Is the volume okay? I know that uh I know that uh grind time said it's really loud. I have to turn it down. It's better. Perfect. Sound, I like that idea. Okay, cool. Uh I'm gonna to turn the chat off a minute just to uh go through some testing. So uh yeah, if there is any messages I will catch up soon. Okay, cool. Base trials. It's weird on this screen though. I never play on my phone. It's so small, it's ridiculous. I've got like a 10 inch, I think 10, 11 inch tablet. So going off a five inch phone is crazy. <laughs> but yeah, again, apologies guys. I really do apologize. I will be getting onto the internet provider tomorrow morning and then I will be playing mad with them because this is not on the, you know, I get that the internet drops sometimes to a certain amount. And go slow, but to drop to 0 0.1 is, you know, ridiculous. Ridiculous. Okay, cool. So we wanted to just try hoist out. And uh, I can't wait what it was up to now. So we'll look again. But I said that, you know, you can use it on Ratchet. Because it's got a speed up ability, you can use his ability on Ratchet. And it will speed him up. So if you watch now, you can see the arrows on Ratchet there, which means that Ratchet will do more healing per second. So if it does 100% uh, speed up, it means Ratchet will heal for double the amount. So, you know, that's an incredible amount of healing. So very good bot to add onto your healers, onto Wheeljack. Uh, I believe it doesn't stack with Wheeljack. Um, that was asked uh, by, to the apes to ask, you know, if it would stack, and I believe not. So you can't put hoist abilities down, and you can't then use 
um, wheel jacks on top and get 170% speed up. Um, but yeah, but I believe that, um, you know, there'll be something good coming to wheel jack soon. I don't want to say too much, but there'll be something good coming to wheel jack soon, and we'll leave it at that. But on a totally separate note, not related, honestly, um, Ability 11 is going to be coming to the testers this week. So we'll be uh, testing all the Ability 11 bots. Uh, we haven't been given a list yet of which bots are coming. Um, but as I've said previously, I think we're looking at some um, some G1 bots. I think in especially, I think we might see uh, maybe one or two new ones. But uh, yeah, can't wait for Ability 11. It was promised quite a while ago now. So uh, yeah. Let's have a look at any... Um... I can't even scroll the chat. <laughs> Uh, we need Ultra Magnus Ability 11. Well, yeah, that'd be a, maybe a good shout, maybe. Uh, but yeah, Blaster and Prowl. Definitely Blaster. I would love Ability 11 for Blaster. That is my dream. It really is. That would be perfect. Um, something good for Wheeljack must be Ability 11. Well, who knows? Who knows? You know, I said something's going to Wheeljack, but I didn't say Ability 11. And, you know, I didn't say that at all. Um, take from that what you will. But um, yeah, Wheeljack, um, yeah, for all those that are worried about, you know, like I said, about Wheeljack, we'll be getting something because we discussed it in the playtest. But uh, yeah, totally unrelated Ability 11. I um, think that Firefly should get Ability 11. He does already. Firefly has got Ability 11 already. I'm sure. Am I wrong? <laughs> Yeah, I was a bit confused then, I'm not going to lie. I was like, hang on a minute, I'm sure Firefly already has. Have I got mixed up with someone else? I got mixed, mixed up with Storm Clash or someone. But yeah, he already has ability 11. Uh, but Jetfire would be good. But I think we need something different for Jetfire than, you know, than what Firefly has. Um, show him. I don't know. Okay, well, you know what? I've got Firefly. If he hasn't got ability 11, I will uh, give it him. Show him a spark, I think. There he is. And there he is, ability 11. So fires four powerful rockets at a target. Uh, building, dealing 5,930, which is more damage than it does at ability 10. But also does surrounding damage to nearby enemies as well. So yeah, pretty decent ability 11. Uh, but I think they can push that better. I really do. I think that's okay. It's good. But for me, I think it needs to be something even more special. I really do. Uh, Ratchets was pretty good. I've upgraded Ratchet to ability 11 uh, on my normal account, but that is it. Can't wait to see what Smokey will look like with ability 11. True. True. That would be interesting. That really would. And for all those that didn't see before, I was just playing catch up because, like I said, because the stream dropped. Here's um, Hoist stats again. Like I said, very good bot. 3,280 health over 10 seconds will be crazy. Uh, Grind says, but you can't see, but scroll back and see a donated $5 touch by any router. Well, thank you for the donation, Grind Time. I didn't see it, like I said, but uh, I don't need to. To honest with you, the router is supplied by the internet provider. It's, it's totally free of charge for paying for the services. And it's not even like I buy the cheapest package. I don't buy the top package. I think it's a bit overkill. But, you know, I've still got a good package. I still pay a decent amount every month. And, you know, if that router breaks, I get a brand new one. But, thank you. <laughs> I put it towards the phone call from phoning the company and say, listen, this needs sorting. I'm not happy with this at all. But like I said, what's more worrying is that not only have we got no tablets, which means I can get into war still on my phone, which is not ideal. But it means I've got no TV either. It means the kids have got no iPad. It means there's no PlayStation. It means there's no Switch. Literally every sort of gaming device or anything we've got has gone, which is, you know, that's the worst of it. So get it sorted tomorrow. Most definitely. I'm not having that one bit. So uh, I did want to talk about um, bots coming to the game and all the notes that I've made for this are on this device. So I can't even get them up. But I was looking at, you know, bots that are, you know, not in the game yet. And uh, bots that are coming. And there was uh, one um, in Beast Wars called Apache, who is a triple changer. And the reason I was looking at that is because I think that 
Looking through the Earthrise toy line, most bots are in the game now. Most of them. Uh, I think some of the, uh, you know, bug bite and bots like that that we saw in Earthrise, um, I think they will come to the game. Grapple is one of the Earthrise bots. Hotlink, bots like, all the bots that are in that Earthrise toy line. I think we'll come to the game this year, or most of them. So I think we will see Grapple. We've got Hoist, obviously, and I think we'll see some more. But obviously, what I will think will... And I think this is the reason behind it. <clears throat> obviously, the apes are in talks with Hasbro about bots that are coming out. And we had an influx of Beast Wars bots, quite a few. And all of a sudden, it just stopped. And there was rumours that, you know, Earth Wars didn't have the license anymore for them and things like that. But... What I think it is, is they were saving, waiting for the next instalment of the Transformers series, which is uh, Transformers Kingdom, is that right? Uh, like I said, I'm not going off my notes, I'm literally just going off the top of my head right now. Um, so I'm just winging it. So yeah, Transformers Kingdom is all about the uh, Beast War. So I think we'll see a lot more Beast War bots. Like them, loathe them. Yeah, that's what I think will be coming over this next year. I think we'll see two, maybe three Beast Wars bots. We normally get, was it one per month? So 12. So yeah, maybe two or three Beast Wars bots. Hopefully, I've been asking for ages for Eight Face and Snapdragon. I'm an Autobot, but part of me is still a bit Decepticon. There's still some, some cool Decepticons out there. But... I would love 8-Face and Snapdragon to come to the game. I would love that. More triple changes. Can they get Broadside in the game? I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. But I do think that we'll see um, some Beast Wars bots. I've seen someone in the chat mention Blur. I think we need Blur in the game. I know he's not one of the um, you know, the bots in this series and things like that, but he's an original G1 bot, and the apes still do bring them out. Uh, Retgar, someone mentioned that in one of our, ch it was either in the chat or the stream, um, because, <laughs> funny story, in my chat, uh, we were talking and I said, um, you know, I'm doing a stream tonight about hoists, come and check it out, and someone said, my team said, I don't need any bots, even if they brought Jesus to the game, and he could revive a bot back to life, I still wouldn't do it, and then we got talking about that actually in the playtest chat, I made a bit of a joke about it. And maybe that'd be a good ability to have. Um, I've gone off of a tangent now. That's kind of what I was talking about. But, um, you know, that would be, you know, but, you know, bringing a bot back to life somehow, you know, that would be crazy, you know, kind of a vector ability. I think that would be a, maybe a good thing. But, um, you know, it sort of hits home as well that people have a set team at the top levels and they don't need any more bots and don't want any more bots. And that's why we need to push these sort of bots recently for people to, you know, buy bundles again and, you know, want to get new bots. And that's why I think we've pushed uh, Hoist the way we have to, you know, have people look at it and go, you know what, actually, this bot will actually do well in my team. I know I've got five stars. I've got a few four stars. And I said that in the playtest chat that, you know, I have lots, quite a lot of five stars. But there's still room for four stars at end game. There's still room in the top, top levels for four star bots like Rook like tracks you know that i don't have a five star counterpart like hoist and i really do put him up there with those sort of bots and you know it leaves room for the five star to be amazing imagine a five star hoist and a five star tracks even i mean pff, the apes have said never but never say ever never say never i should say um but yeah I, I want some more triple changes coming to the game i know we've got skylinks who's not officially a triple changer but he is in the game and then we've got uh, Springer, Sandstorm. Um, I'm sure I'm missing someone. Springer, Sandstorm, Skylink. Am I missing someone? See, I can't even look. I look in the game. Come on, someone tell me. Am I missing someone? Sure I am. Double Dealer. Yes, Double Dealer as well. Um, but I think there's room for some more. I really do. I also mentioned in the playtest chat about some triple change of cores because going through those bots Springer, Sandstorm, Skylinks they've all sort of fell away from the meta a bit and 
you know, I think they could do with something to improve them. And going back to my notes, I just just recalled something. Um, combat bots are obviously in the game made a huge difference, but um, in the toy line, uh, in terms of Beast Wars, I believe there's going to be some fossil bots. So obviously it's got an abbreviation, which I cannot remember because in my notes, uh, but it's same as combat bots, but it's called fossil bots. And that's something we could see, which will be, uh, you know, combat bots, but especially for Beast Wars characters, which could be incredible. So the likes of Cheetor and Optimus Primal and bots like that could get a massive, you know, a massive buff maybe, which, you know, again, you know, these sort of bots are fell away from the meta. So, you know, it could be a good add to the game, these fossil bots. It could be interesting. Um, but again, it's all just speculation. It's all just guesswork. You know, we've no way to really know. Um, you know what's coming to the game we could just sort of guess really can't we um, I'm trying to get my notes back up again aha I just worked a work around maybe hey I got my tablet back on again doesn't mean I got my notes though <laughs> Um, just bring this up because I did mention a couple of things to talk about. Just give me a second. Yeah. So talk at Ability 11. That's what we're talking to about. I want to talk about Ability 11 as well. And maybe candidates for Ability 11. Um, you know, let's get the 5 stars for a minute. Let's get the 4 stars. So, you know, the likes of Slash are already really powerful. So I can't see Slash getting Ability 11. Scatter shots too new. Uh, drift, possibly. You know, I think I think the problem with drift is that you know he gets a, a rush of a healing drain. That healing is quite considerable, but I think they'd do something else on top of that. That's not healing. Give him some sort of increase on damage or something like that. Uh, someone just mentioned sludge. Yeah, I think sludge would be a really good um, bot for ability eleven. But what would you give sludge? You know, I wouldn't do more, maybe more damage. To, no, I wouldn't do more damage to walls because people don't really use him. But it's got to be something to do with his ability. So, would it do extra damage within the walls? So, looking at Sludge, so it goes target a wall with a reasonable sound. The explosion deals five and three for each wall in the radius and five times damage to walls. So, maybe increase the damage. I don't know, but it does five times damage to walls. But I just, I don't know. Would you maybe increase that so that it doesn't... Because at the minute, even at max, you can't take out max walls unless they're honeycomb. So maybe just even increasing that. But the people said they want something special. So maybe that and something else. Maybe it gives him double DPS or something crazy for 10 seconds. Um, I think level 11 should focus on older bots, which there is a 5-star, but the 5-star is underpowered. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, you're not going to give it to overpowered bots. They're not, let's be honest. So, you know, I think for me, it'd be bots that have fell away from the meta. Blaster's still in the meta, although I still like Blaster. Um, you know, I just think that, you know, Blaster will still, you know, be good whether he gets ability 11 or not. It doesn't really matter. But, uh, oh, I've got, I think I've got the chat back up again. I've worked. I'm, <coughs> I'm literally talking. Well, I'm trying to fix my stream at the same time. <laughs> oh, Crystal Eleven is gone. Apologies. Apologies. Okay, I'm just going to catch up on the chat, guys, while we're here. Uh, someday Six Shot. I actually had an idea for Six Shot to have his ability split into twos, if that makes sense. To have one ability, to have him, and then to have a passive where he changes into something else. And then each of his abilities has two parts to it. So he might do something as a jet and then turn into a gun and then shoot. I don't know. But, yeah, that was my idea to the apes that I passed on quite a while ago. Uh, I would love to see Six Shot in the game. He won't have six abilities. He'd be far or powered, but would love to see him. Um, I reckon Rule would love Broadside, but trying to get, you know, a, a, a carrier in the game is almost impossible. That's something need to uh, I need to work at. <clears throat> um, 
Victor's put we need need Rat Trap. Yeah, a fan kind of a fan favourite, a well known Beast Wars bot. I think we may see Rat Trap uh, as part of Kingdom. I think they can't do uh, you know, a Beast Wars program or something without Rat Trap. So I think we will see Rat Trap. Um Death Charge and Rampage. I don't know who they are, I'm not gonna lie. That's a bit upon them. Uh we need Cybertron relics in the game like the all spark here's something i passed on to the apes today funny enough so the enigma of combination they should have it's hard because they did i know the enigma combination is one thing but if they brought out an enigma combination for defense or like a combat bot to add on to defense or say it makes him more powerful no they can monetize it or do whatever they want with it but you know like a combat bot basically for uh, combiners to give them a boost. Um, I think that would be that would be amazing uh, because although combiners are really good, the you know with the new additions and HQ eighteen eventually coming, you know no spoilers or anything, but you know I don't know anything about it, but it's gonna come eventually. It's gonna come. Maybe it's a year, year eighteen months, whatever, but it's gonna come. And when that day comes, even if you've got level twenty combiners, they're gonna struggle. So they need something to sort of buff combiners, and I think that'd be a uh, you know very good and. I can see, uh, you know, someone in the chat. Let's have a look at it. Uh, we'll catch up in a minute, anyway. Uh, Octopus Prime got ability 11. Yes, he has. Uh, it gives your box a shield. So uh, I can look at that, actually. While we're here. Good. It's well worth giving. Um, it's well worth giving Otters Prime ability eleven. Well worth it. Um, what about Skydive ability ability eleven? Not Power Glide. Yeah, again, bots that have fell away from the meta. But I think Skydive is on the cusp of it. It could be useful, but Power Glide I think is just dead and buried. I can't see anyone putting ability eleven on Power Glide without some sort of buff. Um, but yeah, um, broadside can make it hover over and like spray sea spray does. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a very, very good point. We have sea spray, but then again, a hovercraft can go on land. But that is a good point. Yeah, I don't know. A hovercraft can go on land, but an aircraft carrier can't. We don't have any boats, do we, in the game like that? So I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, Daniel Vera's put Broadside and Ape Face. I'd, I'd love Ape Face to the game. Probably my favourite con. Probably. Um, Crushers as Paramagna, Sunstreaker, Slug, Sideswipe, Cliff Jumper. I think Sunstreaker's a good candidate for it because he was very, very good and he's fell away. Jazz has got ability 11. So I think Sunstreaker may as well. Um, personally, I would like his. Radius to be increased as ability 11. I was thinking about that actually. Um, so the area effect that he affects now may be one point and a half times that, so it's a bigger area. So I think that'd be pretty cool for ability 11 if it's possible. You know, a lot of these things we give ideas for as testers, but it doesn't mean it's possible. Um, how can they make Volcanicus and Vicky five star combiners exactly? I think that's a problem that. I don't think we want five star combiners. You know, trying to get all those bots as five stars is just ridiculous. It's rid absolute scandalous. I don't think we'll see five star combiners. I know we've got Omega Supreme, but not in that sense. I really hope not. I don't think it'd be good for the game. Um, personally, I think we really need to have, like I said, some sort of buff, something to add on to combiners, uh, which makes them more powerful. I think that's the way to go. Um. Yeah, like I said, I don't want to. I I've got eleven five stars. I don't want to be chasing f five five stars out of a batch of five. So possibly, I mean, if you look at you're looking at maybe eight or nine five stars you need to get for one combiner. I mean, save up for nine five stars. You're talking a couple of years for anyone to even get one five star combiner. It's just not for me unless they brought out. A five-star batch just to combine the bots, which is not going to happen. Let's be honest. 
Yes, I doubt it. So, anyway. Um, yeah. Yeah, my serve port's put. That's going to be difficult since you've got to play the odds. Yeah, it's really going to be a uh, thing. Yeah. And I reckon Rules put, he loves his Power Glide. Yeah, no doubt. But would you put 3 million Spark into Power Glide? Hmm, no. I really wouldn't. I really wouldn't. Um, and Silverbolt wants uh, increase in range for Prowl. Maybe. Maybe. That would be good, actually. Just increase Prowl's range. I don't know if it's possible or not, though. So increase radius or increase range. Maybe. It's something I'll have to uh, We've been told that for this next batch that's coming, uh, the eights have already pretty much got it set. They know what box and what they're going to do. And we are going to um, balance it. Um, but they said for the next batch, they're going to announce... Um, they're going to ask us what box we would like to see and, uh, you know, what we would like to see for their abilities. So, um, yeah. Um, what about Air Razor for a Beast Wars bot? I'm not going to lie, I didn't really watch Beast Wars. I know the most famous bots, I know the ones that are, you know, toy lines, things like that, but. I'm not a big Beast Wars fan, so you'll probably know better than me. But uh, I think we'll definitely see some uh, Beast Wars, you know, um, characters come into the game, definitely. Um, anyway, going back to Ability 11, who else would we see? Windblade, I think, is a good... Still in the meta, though, still being used, so even though she's really, really old now, she has had a recent buff. Um, I'll say recent, it's happened a year ago. But she has a buff in health, so I'm not too sure we'll see Windblade. Um, Huffer. I don't think people are giving ability 11. Uh, sea Spray's already got it. Sentius Magnus is still in the meta. Uh, Stormclash would be a good uh, choice with ability 11. I think Stormclash would be really good. Um, what would you do for Stormclash, though? Because she has AoE and direct damage already. So maybe some sort of protection for her or some healing or something, maybe. Um, Cosmos. No one's going to do Cosmos. No. Interesting. No. Ability 11. For no, I would like the damage on death to be more. So it says, on these vicious shots, cons have 30% health and 60% damage. Warning is 16, 16 shots comes will repel and explode. So what I would probably do is give that four star uh, Oh, well give the you know not level 10 and below a static damage amount. So stay <clears throat> Whatever they do now say each shots con does 200 damage They do 200 damage, but now instead of 200 damage give them like 500 700 800 damage something crazy So they are good, but once them shots cons die Bang! They do incredible damage. I think that'd be a uh, pretty good. And yeah, Nar is pretty good. Nar is a very good bot. Um, Hoist is too new. Grimlock's got it. After Breaker, um, I'd g definitely give him a shield. He dies too quickly. That's his problem. So giving him some sort of long shield for his ability would be really good. <clears throat> I'd make him actually invulnerable during his ability. I'd make it so ability eleven. He is invulnerable for, what is it? This is eight times, there's no time frame, but I'd make him invulnerable. That would definitely make me use him. Definitely. Trailbreak is too new. Star Saber, I think he's still part of the meta, but I'm not too sure. We'll see. Star Saber, but we have got two batches of ten. We've got twenty box, to, so we may. So maybe Star Saber make him invulnerable to stun. That'd be interesting, because at the minute, when he hits a mine, it stuns him. So, making him invulnerable to stun and something else, maybe. So, I don't think he needs more damage. I don't think so. Um, Crush has put After Breaker's too new. I think After Breaker's like nine months old, though. Maybe eight months old, something like that. It was last summer he was out, so it's still quite, it's still quite new, but he's not that new. You know, I think from Double Dealer onwards, they won't. I think some of the old Tetra Box may get ability 11 maybe uh laser optimus would be a good candidate but again he's had a buff quite recently so i'm not too sure he will jetfire i think jetfire will firefly has so i think jetfire will this batch personally but not that one the next one 
Another bot exactly the same, and there needs to be something that makes Jetfire and Firefly totally different. And I think this is one opportunity to do that. It needs to be more damage, though. It, I know that people, I know what people are saying that you know, oh, well, the age is saying that it needs to be something special, but pff, I don't know. Maybe more damage would be too OP because even there, it does 5,500 damage, which is quite incredible, but. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to think what else could give him. I don't want to make it like, you know, like cell bolts where it does something and it stuns in an area or something like that. And I don't want to give him a... Oh, no, sorry. Apologies. Air Ray's already got ability 11. <laughs> he stuns the target. That's what I was thinking of. I was thinking of something else. Yeah, I don't like his ability 11. Uh, that it's just EMP. Increase the damage, but... Yeah, I'm not impressed with that at all. Apologies. <laughs> <What a move. laughs> Sabaton Jetfire, I think, would be a good, um, you know, a good one, I think. Um, fires lasers to regular buildings and extra to Sabaton buildings, except HQ. I'm not too sure about that one. Right? Um, Bumblebees is pretty good. Um, it's not bad. It's a five star. I would definitely want a five star Bumblebee. I'm hoping it's in the next batch. If he is in the next batch, I will be looking to to target him and get him definitely without a doubt and give him ability 11. I think that would be quite incredible. Uh, 66 ability damage. The damage he's doing is crazy for such a low cost. Uh, Jazzard got it. Blaster would be an amazing uh, bot. Um, he already has stun with his G1 core, but imagine putting damage on those minions as well. Or even make it so they stay alive after death even. Well, no, I don't know about that, because that'd be pretty deep. I don't like that. I like that Noah does that, but as an ability 11, it's not worth it, because my blaster doesn't die. It doesn't die, you don't get anything. But I would like to do damage on death like Noah's. That'd be pretty good. Um, Crush has put Hound on Percy. We'll get to a minute. We'll go through. Literally, I'm, I've got nothing else to do. No TV and no games to play, so I may as well just go to uh, In to one... I'm not too sure to get ability 11. But again, like Saber, some sort of anti stun or something. She's got sort of invulnerability for a core. I've got a core on my main account, but uh, I've got it on this one. I'm not too sure. <clears throat> oh, here's a core here. So when your health drops below 30%, you become invulnerable to damage. Yeah, so I don't think there'll be some sort of invulnerability because you can get it for a G1 core, but doubling that up with ability 11 would be interesting. Cliff Jumper, no one's going to upgrade, upgrade Cliff Jumper to go to 11. Um, Silver Bolt would be interesting. I would make Silver Bolt do EMP in an area. That's what I would do. Make it work in an area. It was already OP, so maybe it's just some sort of... Um, actually, make him invisible. Yes. Yes. Make Silver Bolt, like Cybertron Jetfire, invisible. Wow, that would be amazing. That would definitely be amazing for Silver Bowl. Hey, Jamie, how's it going? Welcome to the part two of the stream. <laughs> uh, light stream, uh, uh, light speed, sorry. I would give him more damage to the final target. And... I don't know. I'll give him damage on the way. I would give him half that damage on the way as well. Quite cheap to use, but he needs something else to go to love him. But Iron Hide's awful. Double deal is actually new. Rust Dust. Um, hmm. Rust Dust. Again, I think should be good for my cast range. I like ability, but a cast range is too small. Or the yeah, effect's good, but the cast range is too small. So <clears throat> yeah, we'll definitely improve that. Uh, tracks is not even going to be overlooking. Uh, Rhinox, I would. Uh... I don't know, maybe increases healing. There's been reports that the healing's not working, maybe right. I'm not too sure. I'm not, I don't really use them that much. I don't really like the healing part. I don't think it works well. So, um, some sort of increasing healing and something else, maybe. And I don't know, heal himself, maybe. Give himself some healing. That'd be pretty good. Uh, swoop, 
Ability 11. Oof. Someone mentioned something in chat about Ability 11 for Sweep. That could be, uh, you know. I reckon Rose put struggling to hear you over the game music. Um, I'm not sure what I'll tell today. I'm not sure how to do it on this, because now I just turn it down. But uh, what we'll do is settings. Right here. Music off. Is that better? Hopefully that's better and people can hear me better then. <clears throat> okay, where are we up to again? Um, what's a swoop? Yeah, someone mentioned something about swoop for ability 11, but I'm not too sure. I don't know. It does a lot of damage. It's already good. But yeah, some sort of protection in the air, I think, maybe. Uh, what is his G1 core? Do I've got his G1 core here? I have to go through and get all the G1 cores of all these bots. I think that gives them some sort of protection. There it is. Uh, increases special ability damage and 21 protection from lasers and beams. Um, yeah, I would definitely just give him protection full stop. Why, why protection from lasers and beams? You know, we've got all the things that can damage him. So I'd give him protection. I'd make him... Ooh, would you make him inv not invulnerable? What, 80% reduction maybe in damage? That'd be crazy. To swoop. I think that'd be good. Uh, six gun. Poof. Ability 11. I'd make him stop humping walls. So, yeah. Set an area on fire. Each missile prioritizes burning defenses and stop six gun humping walls. Definitely give that to six gun. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know if a six gun is pretty good already. It's passive, keeps him behind. I'm not too sure. But, uh, yeah. Maybe some sort of healing again. Uh, brainstorm. I'm not too sure. Wind chase has put six good ability. To live. Fire the last missile, which just blows in a large area. We well, always already does AOE already, but maybe more damage. I, I don't know. At the end, I get where you're going with that, but he's already got AOE. So all you're doing there is just increasing the damage, really. But um, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Oh, and set things on fire. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Um, I just realised, well, I'm backing out when I can escape. What am I doing? What a noob. Uh, brainstorm. Yeah, Brainstorm's pretty much a year old now. So, yeah, definitely about time he got ability 11. Drops a static bomb that drops defences in an area. Reducing their speed by 70% for 12 seconds. If a trap building is destroyed... Causes three thousand four hundred. So reducing the speed by it reduces the speed and then does damage. So it can't be speed or damage. So what is what is I'm trying to think of brainstorms like thing, but um so it's an inventor in the game. So maybe I don't know. I don't know. Oh my days, how cool would it be to give him a headmaster that appears in game? So like Night Stalker. So uh, you know, a combat bot appears like a oh, headmaster, five thousand health, say. Wow, that'd be cool. So when you use ability eleven, you get a headmaster. Wow, that'd be super cool. Give that to loads of them. Oh my god, give that to Hot Rod, give that to Cup. Wow. Someone mentioned as well in the playtest chat that Cup should get ability 11 and you should be given a health regen, which would help with Lagoon leveling. I think that's a good idea. But wow, giving people headmasters, that's a dream, isn't it? Isn't it? Sure, that's a dream. That's illegal. <laughs> For those that don't know, that's from uh, our Discord. Someone said that once and we keep using it. That's illegal. <laughs> Ah, see, he's already got ability 11, which is pretty good. Uh, skydive, yeah. Uh, probably skydive, I'd do if the... Uh, oh, I don't know. If the target is destroyed, damage in an area, so a bit like air raid, maybe. I don't know, maybe, I don't know. Who knows? Wouldn't that just be another minion? Yeah, but it's cool that it appears as part of your ability, so you don't have to use it straight away. You could use it at any point if you wanted to. So, yeah, it's an increase in health and DPS, kind of, but I'm just talking from a purely cool point of view. 
Forget like util utility. It's not that good, really. Having a knight, another knight stalker, but another minion. But how cool would headmasters be? Forget, forget combat bots. Let's be honest. We want headmasters, don't we? We want headmasters and target masters. Straight's nearly a year old now. I don't think he'll get ability eleven though. I don't think he will. I think he's still decent. Like, is it like Sensius, isn't he? So he's still good. But I don't know. I don't know. I'd maybe give himself some sort of like my Megatronus effect, maybe. <clears throat> I think that would be pretty cool to give some bots. Um, because as I was talking to Grind Time about this and Grind Time using quite a bit, and uh, he says that the problem with him is that he gets trapped in walls. So giving him some sort of Megatronus effect would help him get through them walls faster if he does get trapped. So maybe. Oh. Uh... Reflects 20% of damage back. Maybe make it 70%. Give him a huge boost like Hotspot to really reflect that damage back. And then something else as well, maybe. But that would be pretty cool. Yeah, giving him like 70 or 80% reflect. That would be pretty cool. That would make him a beast of a bot. Um, Firefly. Rook could be a good candidate. A good candidate. Why not give him the stun as well, like RC? Or was that, does that take away from RC too much? I don't know. I think we've got RC at a point where she's online with Rook at ability 11. So I don't think we'll see Rook too soon. Right, she's already got it. Optimus Primal. I don't really use him that much. I don't like him. I don't like the fact that he jumps into walls. So, hmm. Friendly bots are given a shield and prioritize defenses. Something for himself, I think. Something for himself. So not just that. I'd also give him some sort of shield or something. Because <clears throat> my issue is that he runs up off ahead and gets in trouble quite easily. So, yeah. I'd maybe give him some sort of shield, I think. Uh, Chrome is too new, I think. and Just too good. Nose Cone. Pff, well, I think Nose Cone needs a fix as well. He needs a fix if he gets ability 11. So, apologies for that. Um, Sandstorm definitely needs ability 11. Um, but to honestly, he needs a cost reduction because he's far too, but he just needs a buff. I don't know, maybe buff his stats or reduce the cost. Or I'm not too sure, I'm not too sure about Sandstorm. He's, he can be very good, he could be amazing. Nose cold ability 11 destroys the base with one hit. No one will get to ability 11 anyway, so <laughs> apart from maybe me. I've <laughs> got enough spark to maybe do that, so um I think I've got about two and a half mil saved up, maybe three mil nearly, but yeah. Uh Skylinks ability eleven, I think it's quite powerful anyway. Um I don't know. Maybe put some blocks on his feet, slow him down. I don't know. He's too fast for me. <clears throat> but I think I think he's still too powerful for ability eleven, yeah. Uh Hound Vamp, um I don't know. Aim at defense and the vamp will deal 2000 damage. Defense in the area, more damage. Oh, I don't know. He has so many parts to his ability that I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure about that. He got okay health, good damage, but more health. But yeah, again, maybe some sort of shield, maybe. Uh, Impactor. Oof. Hmm. I would definitely increase the damage percentage. Definitely. Definitely. Increase it by 1%. I would definitely give that a huge buff. I don't think there's much difference. Blades is already OP. I don't think we'll see Blades. Perceptor is an interesting one. I'd make him do damage to the target. That's something we talked about in the playtest already. So, yeah, hack a defense, make it attack other defenses with double attack speed, but 75%. And also, I would put it so after the hack has finished, it then does damage to that target as well. Because when you hack a target, that target gets no damage. So, when you hack a target, it then takes 2,500, 3,000 damage as well. That's what I do with Perceptor. I think that's a pretty good idea and doable. Power Glide, no one's taking into 11. That'd be crazy. Uh, Runner's Prime is already quite powerful, but uh, something for himself then. All the abilities I think are really powerful for other bots 
I try and look at giving that bot an advantage then, rather than the other bots. And same as when a bot's got advantage on himself in some way, then giving him some advantage to other bots. I think that's a good way to look at it. Um, Winchester put more damage from Impactor will fry combined with Amalgamous. Maybe. That's what we want. We want people to go, you know what? I've got Impactor at ability 8. I'm going to take him to 11 because it's worth it. We don't want people going, I got him at 8. It's 2 million to get him to 11. It ain't worth it. We don't want that. We want people going, I need some spark. I want some more spark. I want to get this bot to 11 because that is amazing and OP. I'm going for it. That's what we want. People to want more spark and play the game more and then we can some more rewards off space save because people are using it more and it just escalates like that. That's what we want. Ultimately, the more people play the game, not just spending, but play the game, the more people play the game, the more this game will carry on, the more it will last. End of. See, that's what me and Crusher, that you put all tag of C with 40% shield. It's far too OP. Giving them 200% damage and a shield People will just be rushing to the HQ, dropping Rodimus, game over. You know, you can't give, you know, bots that have that amazing ability for all bots in an area without any real radius, some sort of healing or protection. It's just not doable. So give him something else, some him health, him, himself some heal or shield or something like that. Uh, Punch needs a total rework. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Red Alert is really good. Um, so it makes them uh damage absorption and um rushing to combat, smashing walls, causing damage, damage more to affliction rifle. Hmm, hmm. So it already gives them some sort of you know immunity from damage absorption and stun immunity, eight and a half seconds. So that's already quite OP. So it has to be something else for himself, but he's already got good health, so he doesn't need that. So I don't think that Red Alert needs ability eleven, but maybe, maybe. Hmm. Right. Who else have we got? Let's have a look. Dinobot. Dinobot definitely. I wouldn't increase the healing he gets because I think there's a problem with that already. Uh, like I said, with healer dragging them out. Um, personally, I would make his decoys that they don't die until they took until they've been destroyed, like uh, hounds and like RCs that they they don't disappear until they've been destroyed. I would make his hollows do that. That'd be crazy. That'd be really good. So bots put. Something interesting with Punch I found out today. If all defenses are taken out and use ability, it just freezes. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, increase the amount of health from 33 to 50. I think the problem is, uh, like I said, that it drags your healers out of position. And you don't want that. You don't you don't I don't think you need more healing. I'd like I always said that his hollow should always have to be destroyed. And I think that maybe they have too much health, maybe. Um, because they have 33% of his health already, which is, you know, 7,000 health. That's quite considerable. I think that's a problem there, that you get 21,000 health in hollows, but they disappear too quickly. So some way to increase the hollow, I think, for Dinobot. Uh, first aid, ability 11. Um... Hmm. I would give his Medibot speed up. So, personally, I'd like to give... So, Ratchet has a shield, which is like first aid. I will give Wheeljack the speed up and a heal bomb. So, he's a comp like heist, basically. And I would give... Um, first aid, Wheeljack's speed up. So, whoever the Medibots are um, covering, they also give them a speed up. That'd be uh, interesting. Uh, Ricky Lee, welcome to the stream, part two. Um, if you want to know about Hoist, go and check out part one of the stream. Uh, basically, the stream went down. The internet's gone down completely. I had to do a rejig, get it back up again. But if you go and watch part one, which will be up soon, I think, then, yeah, you can go and check out uh, Hoist details. Uh, oh, bravo. 
Um, it's like got a G1 course. So given ability 11, I think that spots like Alpha Bravo, I don't think many people will ever really get to ability 11. Not many people have him at 10. So I'm not too sure about Alpha Bravo that he would get to ability 11. I don't think he'd be worth it. I don't think he's one of them bots that a lot, a lot of people use, really. Um, unless it was a five star, maybe, but hmm. hmm. But yeah, as a gunner, again, maybe more range, very similar to Prowl, but you don't want to say as Prowl. So if Alf Bravo gets that increase in range, maybe, then Prowl needs something else, maybe. But, you know, I don't know. Uh, Mirage. Would anyone really get Mirage to ability 11? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I do like his G1 core, though. I'm not going to lie. Become invisible for nine seconds every 20 seconds. It is probably the coolest ability in the game when he does that. I don't know. Yeah, Alf Bravo was strong back in HG15. He was very strong. Um, but I think that five star Prowl killed him off. I think I, I used him quite a bit, four star Alpha Bravo. But uh, yeah, as soon as I got five star Prowl, both four star Prowl and Alpha Bravo were dead and buried. So yeah. Um, maybe just have his EMP rockets do a lot more damage. <clears throat> that would be pretty cool. Because they don't do much damage really now. So that would be pretty good. Streetwise. We did talk about this in the playtest chat. Make sure allies 30% faster. Enemies 30% slower. And maybe it gave me some sort of shield, maybe. I think some sort of shield would be cool for Streetwise. Because uh, the, the speed of speed down is not a lot, really. 30% is not enough, really. Um, Hotspot. Ooh. I don't know. Maybe because he reflects 50% damage, or like, you know, 70% of the G1 core, I would say half the reflection. Give your bots half the reflection amount. So if he has seven... No, that's too much, that, isn't it? You can't give eight bots 35% reflection. It's too much. I don't know. It's higher on my hotspot because the ability is really good. I don't know. Hmm. See, you could just say, oh, 100% reflection. You could just say that, but it's just a buff on the ability. They want to get something different. I'm trying to think outside the box. I'm trying to think of something different. Hound. <sighs> Deals double damage to resource buildings. I would make it quadruple. Well, no, because then at 55, 8, it can one shot. It can. No. At 55, 11, then it could one shot basically. Well, yeah. One shot all the structures, all the, all the things. But, you know, you're just 3,000 damage there to. Resource building, which is pretty good, but um, I don't know. I don't know. These lower down bots are quite hard because I think that you know they're not really their abilities aren't very good anyway. So how do you really release more hollows? Maybe that's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. So release eight hollows rather than five. That'd be pretty cool, actually. I'm not sure if that's doable, but that's a good idea. I like that idea. I'm gonna pass that on to the apes. Who was it? Who put, who put that? I just saw it. The crusher put it. I like that idea. Releasing more hollows. Again, it's not. It just five. That's what I mean. You gotta think about. He does five hollows at every single ability. That's it. But as soon as you give him ability 11, it does 8 hollows. That's pretty good. Sorry about the notifications. Like I said, I have these turned off normally. But um, yeah, like I said, we're on a separate device tonight. <laughs> um, Inferno, I don't think we'll see ability 11 for him. Quite powerful. Um, but yeah. Inferno. We can't increase the amount of you know, percent of damage that they're all given, the bots are given. We can't do that. That would just basically make, um, you know, the 
Elite Storm even more powerful than what it was before you and you can't even decrease the time, that's just the you know, but oh, because he rushes I thought I would do. I, when he rushes into combat, I would give that damage. So rush into combat and deal I don't know, something crazy like five thousand damage or something ridiculous. Because he's not really used that much Inferno, really. He's gone away from the meta again, but giving him that sort of damage. So it does crazy damage to one target and then gives all your bots slips and increase the damage as well. That'd be interesting. Ultra Magnus, we talked about. Just fell away from the meta quite a bit. There's a lot of force has in this game, isn't there? <laughs> but, um, yeah. Maybe some sort of healing, maybe, because the ability is pretty good. Maybe some sort of healing, maybe, from himself or some sort of protection, maybe. Give himself some sort of reflection or something. Smoke screen is crazy good. So I don't think we'll see him with ability 11. But, um, yeah, what would it give smoke screen? Oh, my God, I don't know. It doesn't need anything, really. He's always got his G1 cord. It gives him a shield. It gives him reduction. I don't know. I don't know. Smoke screen already cool. Cup, like I said, give him a regen of health at ability 11. I would definitely take my maxed out, uh, well, 65, 7 cup to 11 if it goes a regen in health. Uh, Dust up is dead and buried, one of the worst four stars in the game. No one's going to take her to 11. What not bother. Sunstreaker we talked about. Springer. Hmm. I would just increase his... I would give him a boost in DPS when he uses ability. So use ability and then give him massive increase in DPS. I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, Prowl. We talked about increased range, maybe. Skyburst. Oof. She's already got a stun with a G1. She's already got a good damage for ability. So, I don't know. It'd have to give herself something. The ability's already good. The G1 core's already there. It'd have to give herself something like a, you know. I'd give her, ah, that'd be pretty good. Giving themselves a regen. So, every time you use ability, it regens her health for X amount. So, when you use ability, you get 2,000, say, health back. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think that'd be pretty cool. I like that idea. Yeah, to try and keep her alive longer. She can maybe start... Solo in bases a bit more, maybe. So, couple in Skyburst with a G1 core and then ability 11 would be pretty awesome. Pretty OP. Jump stream. Grand Times put, if you added more damage and a crazy good stun to dust up, stun in an area, that'd be crazy, actually. Yeah, that's a good point. But I don't think anyone would still. I still don't think anyone would. I think people would rather use Chromium if you did that. Just dust up just needs a rework. Dust up's awful. Same with jump stream, not very good at all. I block hundred percent of damage straight away with ability eleven. Blocks hundred percent of damage, and I'd give her a regen as well, a health regen maybe. But these bots now are lower level is not that good really. Wheel jack we talked about pipes. Well, you can't give them same as jump stream, but it's the same sort of thing. Hot rod, oof. Um... Makes a friend. Oh man, that's Hot Rod got ability eleven already. I think. Oh god, it's been that long now. I can't think which bots have got ability eleven or not. Someone will correct me. Does Hot Rod have ability eleven? I can't remember now. Yeah, he does. Cause I think I remember balancing it. I remember I was trying to work on it. Silver so, put no. I don't know. I thought he did. I thought he did. I could be wrong, though. Ah, it was his G1 core. Well done. That's what we're balancing. That's what it was. What was his G1 core now? Your blessing makes, it, makes yourself and your target 50% faster. That's what it was. Well done, Silver Bolt. That's what we're balanced. Right. So, he's, got, he's already got a speed up. We can't give him that. So, he's got invulnerable to another bot. He can give that to himself as well, so we can't do that. But, yeah, I can't see us doing... Oh, God, that's hard, because he, he affects other bots and affects himself. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe just the it hot rods on the field, he kills Optimus Prime. Maybe that'll work. 
See, 20 odd years have passed, 30 years, and I, I still hold it against him. I still hate Hot Rod for that one reason. So, yeah, that's what I'd do for Ability 11. If Hot Rod's on the field, Optimus Prime dies. <laughs> Warpath. Warpath's already very good. Um, maybe stunning. Oh, is that too much? Stunning everything? Even if it's just for seven seconds or something like that. Yeah, imagine that. Giving that a stun. That'd be pretty cool. Paramagna. No one's going to take her to 11. She's awful. Snarl. Ability 11. Oh, we haven't even seen Cheeto yet. Wow. God, Cheeto. God. Simple commands call. Get out of the way, Hot Rod. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, Snarl. Ability 11. <gasps> That's what I would do. I would give Snarl a health regen. Yes, Crusher. Crush is on the same lines as me. See, genius. See, I would give him healing and then give Cheeto Negatronus. Yes. That would be amazing. Yes. Yes. Snarl, healing, Cheeto, Negatronus. Job done. And then you could have Amalgamus and a mild Megatron or something as well. Yes, Crusher. See? Great minds think alike. Yeah, exactly. Snarl's already got a Megatronus. So giving him Cheeto's heal and then giving Cheeto that Megatronus, but only Ability 11. Yes, they'll be the same bot, but who's going to have Snarl and Cheeto at Ability 11? Normally, people make a choice. Is it too similar? Maybe. But um, I still like them. Uh, and then, oh, we've got one more left. And then Slug, again, like Paramagna, no one's going to even bother. Terrible bot. Needs a total rework. Um, show grind time. <laughs> Who's going to have Snarl and Cheetos at ability 11? Yeah, me. Of course you are, grind time. Let's be honest. Okay, let's rephrase that. Who, apart from grind time, would have Snarl and Cheetos at such a high level? <laughs> Not many people. And yeah, I agree, the Crusher, that Slug is awful along with Pyramagna, and both need a rework. I would change their abilities completely because I think they're both pretty much the same, are they? Yeah, they've both got the same ability. And pretty much the same damage as well. Yeah. So, yeah, they need separating. They need separating completely. They need reworks. They need changing. But I think they're too old now to really get them. But if they're going to give them ability 11, I think some bots need a rework. You know, especially the likes of Pyramagna and Slug, Pipes, Jump Stream, Dust Up. Um, who else? Punch. I think all these bots, if they get ability 11, need a total rework. Nose Cone, Hound Vamp. I think that's it. I think everyone else is pretty decent. Ironhide needs sorting out already. Cliff Jumper, Sideswipe, these forgotten bots. If they do get Ability 11, I'm going to advise that they have a rework as well to sort of really bring them into the meta. I think that's what's, what's really needed. Okay, well, thanks to everyone for tuning in. Thanks to everyone that's come back. Apologies for the drop in stream. And like I said, we'll get that sorted tomorrow. Get it up and running. Get onto the provider. It's not on. And uh, I do apologise. It is honestly out of my control. And uh, I've done everything I can. Like I said. And, uh, I had to think on my feet very quickly. And uh, glad we got some sort of stream back up and running again. And thanks to everyone for tuning in. So, <laughs> maybe cheeky to say this. But, you know, if you do enjoy my streams when they don't drop like this, then make sure you subscribe, guys. I think most of the guys watching now probably will be. Uh, a lot of the regulars. But, uh, yeah, thanks to everyone for tuning in. Make sure you watch High Stream later on. Hopefully he won't have a drop. I doubt it. Um, I'm sure he paid more than 50p for his internet, like me. <laughs> but, <laughs> that's what I pay for it right now, anyway, the way it is. But, uh, yeah, thanks for everyone for watching. Thanks for watching. And come and check us out on Discord. Make sure you subscribe. And apologies again for the stream, guys. All right, catch you later, guys, and peace out.